Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. My name is Daniel and I'm the High Mileage Helper. On this channel, my goal is to be able to help you learn more about the RV transporting industry, as well as give how-to videos for your truck and then give recommendations along the way. So if this is our first time meeting, uh, just consider subscribing, uh, hitting the like button if you get good value. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my top five conveniences uh, that I have in my truck and we'll go ahead and get right into the video coming up. Okay, so before we get into it, I did just want to say, you know, everybody's got their own opinions. Uh, everybody has their own routines. They have their own setups. My top five conveniences in my truck uh, may look different than yours, simply because we have different needs, different preferences, and there's no absolute, you know, correct answers. Uh, they're just preferences, and I just want to share this video with you uh, to just kind of give you some ideas of different things of how I operate uh, in my truck when I'm driving down the road uh, and when I'm bedded down for the night. So this list is not in any specific order of importance. Uh, these are just simply five different things uh, that are a great convenience to me, that are a blessing to me uh, when I am out on the road. So let's start with number one. The very first thing that's a absolute convenience to me uh, when I am out on the road is, is having a quality headset. I've had this headset for over two years now. It is a Blue Parrot headset. Uh, if I can, I'll link it down in the description below. Uh, but uh, this thing has lasted forever. Uh, it has over, I think, like 30 hours of talk time uh, before you need to charge it. It lets you know when the battery is going dead. Uh, you can mute yourself, you can turn up the volume, turn it down. It is just over the one ear, so I'm able to still hear with my, with my left ear. If there are sirens or if there's things going on uh, that I need to hear, uh, I'm able to hear it. Uh, the mic is able to be, you know, moved around quite a bit. Uh, I can, you know, kind of form it to my face if I need to. Uh, it's been a great convenience for me uh, out on the road. My truck did not come with a fancy microphone uh, on this ST model Ram uh, that I have. Uh, I did put in an aftermarket radio in to be able to have uh, Bluetooth to my phone uh, for listening to audio stuff. Uh, but uh, the mic that came with this aftermarket radio uh, is just simply horrible. I can never quite hear the exact words people are saying to me uh, if I was on a phone call uh, and I have to basically project my voice and I feel like I'm yelling and I, I really don't like yelling. I really dislike uh, having to repeat myself. That's very frustrating to me. Uh, when I have this headset on and I'm just talking regularly to a person, uh, I don't have to yell across the truck, it feels like, uh, to the microphone that's in the front here for that aftermarket uh, radio set. Uh, this headset has been a huge help to me. It's been a great convenience, especially when I do have it hooked up to my phone, obviously, uh, through the Bluetooth, and maybe I leave my phone in my truck, but I'm walking around to the back of the truck or maybe by a trailer, uh, checking it out doing my pre-trip. It has a pretty solid range, uh, being able to reach pretty far away. If I do go too far though, it, it will kick back uh, to the regular truck Bluetooth, uh, which that can be a headache sometimes, but then again, I can just turn off my aftermarket radio uh, and not have to fiddle with that or fight back and forth. But when I am on a phone call, uh, I always hear them perfectly. They hear me perfectly. Uh, I've never had an issue. It does have noise canceling as well. So it really does help when I have road noises to compete with uh, for them hearing me. So uh, anyways, this is number one. Again, this is not in any specific order uh, of importance, uh, but seriously, I've had this for a couple years now. Uh, it's done very well. Uh, maybe I'll buy one again in the future, but for now I've had great success with this headset. It's a great convenience. I'm not having to fiddle with my phone. Uh, it's hands-free and it just lasts forever it seems like. So again, this is a blue parrot uh, and I'll put that down in the description below uh, if you'd like to pick one up. The second thing that's been one of the best conveniences for me, uh, being out on the road, uh, being in my cab, and, and basically just living in here 24 seven, is having a very long power cord for my phone. I believe this is like six feet, uh, something like that. It's very, very long. Uh, I'm able to have it connected simply to my phone here uh, when I'm up driving, as well as in the back. If I need to make sure I have enough power uh, to make sure my phone is still on when my alarm goes off in the morning, having a very long uh, power cord for my phone was one of the very first things that I noticed. Uh, I normally just had one of those smaller ones that's, uh, what, two or three feet long, 
and uh, that seemed to work well just up here but when I would go back to the bed it wouldn't be able to make it all the way back there and if I wanted to be on my phone if I had text messages to read or reply to emails uh, if I wanted to watch a video or watch a movie or something a two or three foot cord is not going to get it done and be able to get all the way back to the bed and so having a very long power cord for me uh, was almost essential uh, being able to make sure my phone was always going to be charged at night and uh, I would still be able to use it if I wanted to later in the evening uh, when I was on my 10 hour break so this one has actually seen better days uh, it's starting to fall apart but I'll definitely be buying a new one in the near future here simply because uh, I'm not willing to go back to a three foot cord uh, that can't actually make it all the way back to the bed uh, for convenience sake again this video video is about convenience. Uh, the convenience is in the truck, so uh, this has been a great convenience to me. Another great convenience to me out on the road uh, has simply been this phone magnetized uh, mount. Uh, this thing has been awesome. I love it so, so much. It does have a suction cup right to the windshield up there. Uh, this is able to be moved any direction, any type of angle you really want it to. Uh, and simply there's just a magnet right here. And then what I did was I put the magnet inside of my case, uh, which you really can't even see any indentation of it at all, really. So this simply just magnetizes right to the magnet here. Uh, sometimes I'm off just a little bit, but usually I just kind of start low on the phone and then just kind of go to the right place and you feel the resistance really build up. Uh, you can turn it to the side. Uh, you can really pretty much do anything you want with it. Uh, it's so convenient because sometimes you're in and out of your truck. You're doing your logbook at the fuel station. You're doing your logbook at the way station. Uh, you're at the dealership, you know, taking pictures or in the yard taking pictures. So having this phone mount has just been so convenient to me, uh, especially out on the road, being able to run my GPS, my logbook, being able to have this on the go ready for the next GPS turn, uh, being able to angle this uh, for me when I'm doing my logbook. If I were FaceTiming or watching a movie at night uh, when I'm on my 10 hour break, uh, I don't have to hold my phone. I can be eating a meal while I'm on the phone with my wife, uh, with my family, any number of those things. So uh, this phone mount has been great. Uh, having it magnetized, simply able to uh, have this on the go whenever I need it. Being able to have this with a quick transition, just grabbing the phone. I've tried several other phone mounts uh, where you have to kind of lock it in place. There's a huge plastic thing you have to squeeze around it uh, or lock it in place or those plastic parts simply break off. I've just had a bad experience with those types uh, of other mounts and so having the magnetized mount uh, has just been such a help to me, great convenience. If you were to hit an absolute crazy bump, uh, the phone has fallen off of this mount. Uh, very, very rare though that that would happen. Uh, and of course, if you just knock it over, it will come off. It's meant just to be able to be grabbed off there. So yes, uh, you can bump it off. It can be shaken off if you hit a crazy bump uh, for some reason out on the road. Uh, but in general, this thing stays on here. Uh, I've had this set up for probably two, three years now, something like that. So this thing has lasted hundreds of thousands of miles uh, out on the road. So this has been a great convenience to me when I've been out on the road. The next great convenience to me, uh, being out on the road, being in my truck all day long, uh, has been a armrest for my left arm. If you're a person with a lower trim level in a Ram, you probably feel the same way I do. My left arm resting on this top rail, uh, because I'm left-handed, I usually just drive with my left hand like this, uh, or this or something. Uh, my left arm, my elbow, uh, it gets very ashy, it hurts. This hard surface, uh, for whatever reason, the way I rest my arm, uh, it really hurts my elbow at times. Uh, it dries it out, it's ashy. And over a long period of time, it does hurt uh, occasionally. So this top rail for a Ram uh, lower model truck, it does hurt my arm resting it here. And then we kind of run to the situation where uh, we want to rest our hand not on the rail up here, but down below. And so sometimes I'll have my left knee all the way up and then I'll be driving like this but it just doesn't feel right, it doesn't feel uh, natural, and, and I naturally wanna raise my arm up back up here and rest it on this top rail, which ends up hurting my elbow again, and so uh, that's very frustrating to me. And so what I've tried to do to kind of meet in the middle uh, was I found a thick foam piece uh, that's able to rest right here. It's made for this exact purpose, uh, being a elbow cushion or an arm cushion, uh, when you don't have that on your regular trim,
rim of your truck. So uh, for me, I kind of have to remind myself this still is not exactly where I want it to be height wise, but I still maintain my handle here, being able to open and close the door, uh, pushing this open. Uh, this does go all the way to the corner back here. This has always stayed here securely, uh, but it is Velcroed to the hard plastic, in which case I could take it off anytime I wanted. Uh, as you can see, I just kind of put the Velcro piece that comes with this uh, right here. What I did was on a hot day, uh, I made sure that this was cleaned off. I put this down and then I put uh, some heavy stuff on top of here uh, to really get it to stick to the hard plastic to make sure that it would not uh, come loose later on down the road. And so the foam piece does have the other part of the Velcro, uh, in which case you just simply put it down wherever you want. Uh, I again, just keep it kind of behind the actual handle here. Uh, I still have access to this, but I still do have my elbow to rest here. It is slightly lower than again, I really want to, uh, but this has really helped my left elbow out because for whatever reason my left elbow I don't know about you uh, but it just dries up and it gets cracked I've almost shed blood having my elbow right here uh, and that's just no fun for me so uh, so having this cushion down here below uh, has really just kind of supplemented uh, where I keep my my elbow my natural instinct again is still just to come up here this may seem super dumb uh, and it's just ridiculous uh, and it's just a, a minor minor thing but I gotta tell you nearly every day for years and years at a time uh, these little things really do add up and uh, I just I love this cushion here I've had this in here for uh, probably close to nine months maybe ten uh, maybe even longer uh, I'll put this in the description below as well but uh, this thing has been awesome uh, this does come with two of them uh, so there's two Velcros uh, that stick to whatever you want. Uh, so if you wanted to even put one up here, maybe, uh, that might be a little bit of a headache with uh, having a thinner piece uh, of plastic up here with the window. If you were to have your window down, it, maybe you can knock it off or something. But uh, this thing right here has been awesome. Uh, it's been a great convenience uh, to me when I've been out on the road driving uh, hours and hours and hours. And uh, this thing is awesome. One thing else about this uh, is that you can take this off and wash this if you wanted to so the foam piece inside uh, can be washed this black cover can be washed as well if needed if you got something on it uh, so no big deal there it's not gonna be all nasty from uh, your arm from you know sweat maybe getting dripped on this or anything like that this can be cleaned up relatively quickly and uh, it's no big deal at all just put the velcro back on and boom there you go uh, you are ready to drive again so uh, this has been another great convenience out on the road so last but not least uh, is a neck cell phone mount. Uh, now this may seem a little ridiculous, uh, but let me just share with you why I bought this, uh, how I've used it, and how it's been a great convenience to me. I don't actually wear this when I'm in the back of the truck, but what I do is I put this over the top of the passenger front side headrest, and I'm able to turn it around uh, to where I'm still able to see. While I'm laying in bed, uh, this isn't around me, it's not gonna choke me out. I'm not gonna accidentally fall asleep uh, and have this thing and then you know crush it or crush my phone. What has happened in the past when I've just simply had my phone on my chest or I've held it up, up above, I'll fall asleep. I'll end up turning over to one side or the other and then the phone goes with me. And where it goes is the one place you can never reach. Uh, it's at the very bottom underneath the bed somehow. It finds its way to the very bottom. And that's a big headache with an air mattress in the past uh, and being able to find my phone. As well as I've had times where my phone was so smushed together with everything around it because it fell down in the crack and I couldn't hear my alarm in the morning simply because the phone rolled off my chest or something and fell down in the crack. I'm sure somebody out there has experienced that before uh, where you don't hear your alarm because the phone has fallen down deep, deep in the one crevice that only your phone could fall down into uh, and then not be able to hear it as well. So, so that is why I bought a universal uh, phone mount. I believe any phone could really fit in here. Uh, even with my larger case here, uh, it's able to fit here. Uh, this is able to be turned any way you really wanted to. 
any angle you need. Uh, so the idea would be to be able to watch something uh, connected to my, you know, long power cord that's, you know, able to reach the back, and then to not have to worry about turning over my side during the middle of the night uh, and my phone falling to the depths of the bottom of the seat. It will always be on this holder uh, above my head. I don't have to even hold it up. Uh, we're, we're just simply spoiled rotten in America here, but uh, <laughs> uh, this has been a great convenience to me. It's helped me hear my alarm countless times now uh, instead of the phone falling down below where the speaker gets kind of smushed up against other items. Uh, and it's just been a great help to me. But these are just the most noticeable ones for me uh, to kind of bring up. So let us know down in the comments below uh, what's one thing or maybe multiple things uh, that have been a great convenience to you that maybe I haven't thought about, that maybe somebody else hasn't thought about, uh, that could maybe help them uh, in their journey, in their new business endeavor, in their new kind of second home living in this truck, uh, kind of being away for hours and hours and hours uh, and nights and nights and nights. So hopefully this was a help to you. Hopefully you have a great day today. Stay safe, guys, and God bless.